Module 3, Measuring Your Progress. Now we're going to talk about numbers because people trust numbers. Numbers help prove to people that something has been measured or weighed objectively. Since we opened in 2009, Recycled Reads has developed a system to keep track of and report these numbers. The system has evolved a great deal and it may evolve more in time. But for now, we'll talk about what we measure, how we measure it, and why it matters. Tons of books literally go in and out of libraries constantly, and many are added and taken away from collections every day. We also receive donations of books and media from our community. Recycled Reads accepts around 200 donations per month from private citizens, nonprofit groups, and other libraries. To help us understand what kind of environmental impact we're making, we keep track of how much comes in from the library and from the community and how much goes out, sold back to the community, or recycled by our recycling partners. In the five years that Recycled Reads has been in operation, we've used different methods. In 2013, we acquired a pallet jack scale we named Jill to measure the weight of material we were recycling through Goodwill Industries of Central Texas. We measure the crates supplied by Goodwill before they go out the door. Twice a week, we send out at least four of these to be sold or recycled by Goodwill. Before the pallet jack, though, it was all estimation. Here's how we did it. We set our ideal measurement standard as the standard box size used by our warehouse facility. This is the size of the box that is packed by the libraries to be sent to recycled reads. In the store, we stack 20 boxes per pallet. Because there are so many different ways a donation might come packaged to our back door, we figured we'd better have a system to estimate this too. So, our volunteers were trained to sort donations into standard size boxes. We could then eventually make estimations based on the size of the donation. We also kept tick marks. One tally per box counted on a whiteboard in the sorting area. Once we acquired our pallet jack with a scale, it turned out we'd been pretty accurate. Today, we use our pallet jack Jill to weigh the outgoing crates and convert those pounds to tons. We share the tonnage with the City of Austin's Office of Sustainability, where the tonnage is plugged into an online carbon footprint calculator provided by the Environmental Protection Agency. It's not always easy to visualize how much material is kept out of the landfill. To help make this easier to understand, we use the EPA calculator. This illustrates what the equivalent of diverting 10 to 14 tons per month really looks like. Again, people trust numbers, and when we provide outreach to the community and seek funds for special projects and annual budgets, we need to be able to show people what that means. What have we learned in this module? Come up with a system that suits your library and your recycling partners. Try to handle the material as little as possible. Remember, handling the material costs staff time and volunteer time. Keep a backup of your statistics. Recycled Reads keeps a locally saved copy on the hard drive and a copy on the cloud. And last, share the information with your community. Spreading the news of your success helps you garner support and setting goals helps you improve your efficiency. Continue the conversation. How do you share your recycling success with your community? How can you keep tons of materials out of any landfill? Join the conversation on Twitter with the hashtag Among the Weeds. This project is made possible by a grant from the U.S. Institute of Museum and Library Services.